Hey, Geometry, it's Miss Kaiser with the last section in Chapter 11. I hope you all are doing okay, and you're reaching out when you need Zoom sessions, and you're finding all of these videos and everything and the way to hand in homework. Anyway, let's get started. So we're going to talk about spheres today and the surface area of a sphere. So a sphere is like a globe. Um is a set of all points in space instead of in a plane that's equal distance to a center. The radius of a sphere is a segment from the center, so inside, um, to the end of the sphere. A chord of a sphere is a segment whose endpoints are on the sphere. And a diameter of a sphere goes through the center from one end of the sphere to the other. Okay. Um, a great circle, so in a plane, um, if a plane intersects with a fear, sphere, then the intersection is either a single circle, is either a single point, I'm sorry, or a circle. If the plane contains the center of the sphere, then the intersection is called the great circle. If it doesn't contain the center, then it's just a regular circle, and if it just touches it's a point. And if you cut it in half at where the center is, it's a hemisphere. Okay, the surface area, so around the sphere, the, radi uh, the surface area is four times pi times the radius squared. So, if the diameter is two centimeters, what is the surface area? So if the diameter is two centimeters, then the radius is one centimeter. And so you can square one centimeter and get one. So it's just four pi centimeters squared for exact value. And if they ask you for a decimal value to a certain decimal place, you can plug that into your calculator. All right, in example two, it tells you the circumference of that great circle there. So that's a great circle around, and that's the circumference. So in order to do that, we have to find the radius. So we go back to our circumference formula from way back in the first section, and it's 2 pi r. That equals 15 pi. Then we're going to divide by pi. Pi's divide out, and then you divide 15 by 2, and you get 7.5. Then you can plug it into the surface area of a sphere formula. So it's 4 times 7.5 squared times pi. So that's going to give you 225 pi meters squared. And the next thing is find the surface area. So this is a little tricky. This is a hemisphere. So you got to find the surface area of the top and then the, the area of the great circle on the bottom. So first you're going to find half the total surface area. So we get the total surface area by 4 times 11.2 squared pi. So that is, it's 501.75 pi. But then we've got to cut that in half. So it's going to be 250.88 pi. Then we've got to find the area of that circle, that great circle on the bottom, and that's just pi r squared. So the total area is adding those two together. Please let us know. Email us. Ask for a Zoom session if you have any questions. Okay, um, a sphere has surface area of 90,790 centimeters, and that should be centimeters squared, not centimeters two. Find the circumference. So first we've got to find the radius. So we're going to set that total surface area equal to 4 pi r squared. We're going to divide with our calculator 
90790 by 4. Then we're going to divide by pi, so you need to use your calculator. And then you're going to take the square root on your calculator. So that's what I did so far. Okay, now that I have the radius, I can find the circumference of the great circle there by just doubling the radius and multiplying by pi. And since this is already a decimal, we're going to multiply out the pi. Okay. Uh, hopefully you follow that. I'll give you a few minutes to... Um, a few seconds to write that down. Okay, moving on. Um, the diameter of the sphere. So first of all, we've got the uh, sur total surface area of the sphere. So we've got to set that equal to four pi r squared. We're gonna divide out the pi and divide out the four. So r, squared is 36, so r is 6. So if r is 6, the diameter is 12 centimeters. Okay. All right, moving on. Volume of a sphere. So this one's a little tricky. It's 4 thirds pi, and then it's r cubed. Because it's volume, it's R cubed. So we've got the diameter as 14. So if the diameter is 14, what would the radius be? Yes, it would be 7. So the volume is going to be 4 thirds times pi and then 7 cubed. So you're going to go through and you're going to multiply 4 thirds by 343 and then put pi at the end of it. And don't forget, it's miles cubed. And I just kept it as a fraction. I didn't divide out that 3 because it would give me a decimal. So I just kept it as an improper fraction for exact value. Okay, so go ahead and do B on your own. See if you can get B done on your own. It gives you the radius. Take some time to try and get B done on your own. Okay. Hopefully you got it plugged in for me. Now you got to get a calculator out because you can't do this without a calculator. Really, you got to cube. So what I did was I cubed 40 and then I multiplied it by 4 and I kept the 3 on the denominator. And remember, it's centimeters cubed. Okay, the surface area of a sphere is 676 pi inches squared. Find the volume. Well, first we've got to find the radius. So we're going to set the surface area equal to our formula that we learned in the beginning of class, which is 4 pi r squared. We're going to divide out the pi and divide out the 4. And we get r squared is 169, so r is 13. Now we're going to go to the volume formula, and we're going to plug in that 13. So now we got to cube that 13. So we're going to cube the 13, and then I'm going to multiply it by 4. Once I've cubed 13 and multiplied it by 4, I get 8,788 pi. And I just keep my 3 on the bottom, and remember it's inches cubed. All right, and now it tells you the volume, and remember there's no pi in here, so you'll have to, you'll have to deal with some decimals here. Um, find the surface area. So first we're gonna set the volume formula equal to 750. So I am going to, I'm going to multiply by three and divide by four. So I'm multiplying 750 by 3 and dividing it by 4. So off to the side so you can see, it's 
and you get that, okay? Then I'm going to divide out the pi using my calculator. Then I'm gonna take the cube root using my calculator. Now here, when I get the, the surface area, I'm gonna multiply out my pi because this is already a crazy decimal. So I'm gonna plug it into the formula there. I'm gonna square that radius, multiply it by four pi, and there's my answer. Okay, all right, find the volume. So first I've gotta find the volume of the cone, which Ms. Mochizuki taught you how to do, and then I gotta find the volume of the, of the uh, hemisphere, so it's half the volume of a full sphere. So the first volume is one-third, one-third times the base area, which is one squared pi, times the height, which is five. So there's your first volume, five pi over three. Then your second volume is gonna be half four-thirds. And when you cube the one, it's just one. So now we're just gonna add those together. Okay, so this one was pretty easy because squaring a one is just one and cubing a one is just one. All right, find the volume of this composite solid. So the diameter, is 12, so the radius is six. You got a hemisphere, so you gotta find the volume of a hemisphere, which is half the sphere, and then you gotta find the volume of the cylinder. So the first volume is just six squared, which is 36 pi times um, 13, the height. So there you get 468 pi. Then the hemisphere is gonna be one half, four thirds. And you're gonna cube the six, which is 216 pi. And then you just add those together and there you go. Okay. Um, all right, this is the last lesson. Um, then you'll do the homework for this lesson. You'll do your practice test your review sheet before you take your final test. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks a lot.